Hello everyone, welcome to today's session. In this session, we are going to see how to update Tag UI. Also, we'll see how to view the version, current version of Tag UI and backing up and restoring Tag UI. Let's jump into it. Before updating Tag UI, let's try to understand why do we need to do update on Tag UI. As you know, Tag UI is an open source software. So community keep on contributing their changes and changes gets published and updated constantly. You, you can get uh, updated versions, fixes, bug fixes, or new features as community keeps on updating or contributing. So if you want to get a latest version or any new fixes which was done, on the software, you may need to update it. So let's look into how to update Tag UI. To update Tag UI, you need to have, you need to go and launch command prompt, start, click on, to, to go to command prompt, click on start. In the start uh, menu, go to Windows systems. So you have a folder called Windows systems and then click on command prompt. That's one way of doing it. Another way of doing it is very simple. Go to search and type CMD or and you should see command prompt app. Click on command prompt app and drag it in command prompt app and drag it to center so that you can view properly. So let's first check how to find our version of current installation or current installation of Tag UI. To find out the current installation version of Tag UI, type tag UI and it should give you a current installation version which is this and it also provides you uh, other commands and other options which are called command line parameters to be used. We'll see all the other options as we go on but it has current version of the tag UI. So as you have a current version of the tab, if you want to upgrade it or update it, you can update by typing tag UI space update, but we'll not update it now. First, as the instruction says, you, you need to please back up the version before you upgrade it. So we'll do a backup of current version, which we have, which is 6.48. To backup, we have a couple of options. You can copy wherever your tag UI is located. So copy and you can put it in backup location wherever you want to keep your backup. Say tag UI underscore backup version 6.48 and just paste it here. So it should basically copy the backup. So this is one way of backing up. Another way of is you don't even have to backup. If you have an original setup file or original extracted file, which you have downloaded it from tag UI site or GitHub location. So I already downloaded it, which is tag UI underscore windows. So if you have it, it already contains the version which we basically we have installed. So these are the two options. Now that we have took a backup and uh, we know how to find a version, right? Let's go and update it, right? So to update it, just type tag UI space update, right? So now I have a backup and I'm going to say update it. And hit enter. So when you hit enter, so it will download the latest version of Tag UI, which is 6.83. And it is successfully updated in Tag UI, which is in C drive, C colon Tag UI. To check whether the update happened correctly, you can type Tag UI again and check the version. So if you see now, the version is updated to 6.83. So this is how you update the tag UI. So let's say we installed or we updated the tag UI and we have a problem and we want to go back to our old version. To go to old version, it's very straightforward. Just go back to your backup, which you have it here, right? So just select all the files which you have in the backup and then go back to your original location, right? 
and wherever your actual location is and just paste and it may ask for overwrite permission right now it's calculating it will ask for overwrite permission and as soon as when overwrite permission comes in you can click yes so as you see this is a replace the file in the destination or skip this version and let me decide for each file as we know it's if we want to restore back the old file you can just click on replace the file in the destination just click on re click on the re replace file in the destination it will update all the files so it's been updated now let's check back the version again it should basically be restored to 6.48 right so type tag ui and hit enter now if you see 6.48 has been installed you can do it this way or you can go back to your tag ui installer and you can extract to c drive and click extract and it should it should do the exact same thing which we which we did you should get back the same version so these are two options of restoring in case you had any issue with your existing update or you don't like the update and you want to skip this version and want to go for another version so these are the two ways of updating the tag ui now that you have we have, we have updated the tag ui last thing uh, oh we, we we have changed it you can just check the tag ui and it should be the version same so let's update it again tag ui and type update so when you update it your tag ui starts updating it if you see here to the latest version and uh, it takes few minutes to update now that we have updated and uh, our latest version is 6.83 let's check if this updated version works fine as it's as as it was working in previous previously so how to test the update right so to test the update as in the previous sessions wherein we had installation done done we, it also had a, a test step in the same way tag ui installation location comes up with some sample sample options or sample scripts which you can run and test the tag ui so we are going to do the same thing to do so so just select the location and click go to go to tag to go to command prompt type tag ui and just give the file and test if it works fine so it started launching browser by itself and uh, it's going to start the browser or start the session so it's basically starting the browser going to latest movies clicking on the first link and uh, navigating to the site and uh, this finishes our execution it executed in approximately 21.8 seconds so this concludes our session in the session we have learned how to check the version how to take a backup and how to restore and how to do an update of tag ui thank you for watching we'll see you in the next video Bye.